Myra joins us now for sports and some tough times for the Victoria Royals. Yeah, it was a... To say the least. There was a lot of goals and it was a lot to a little last night, Joe. Uh, it's only the start of the second half of the season, but the Victoria Royals are already in full playoff mode. Last night's 9-4 home loss to the Calgary Hitmen makes it seventh straight for the Royals. A season worst and they are barely clinging to that eighth and final playoff spot in the Western Conference. The trade deadline is looming on Tuesday and something has got to give. This, this is part of it. If you're, you're going to win championships, you need to go through this, and we're definitely going through it. The new LED screen, the only bright spot in the Victoria Royals 2012 home opener. These are dark days for the WHL's newest franchise. We didn't play very good from the goalie on out to uh, the defenseman to the forwards. We just didn't play real good. And there's no excuses but to come off a long road trip the first game at home. No matter what, is always an adventure. And it was, to say the least, an adventure last night. The Royals gave up two quick first period goals to the Calgary Hitmen and found themselves trailing 4-1 after 20 minutes. Frustrations hit a boiling point in the second period. Robin Sudek tried to fire up his teammates by dropping the gloves with Calgary's monster defenseman, Jaden Risling. Yeah, I tried to step up a little bit, uh, bring some energy to the team, and yeah, it wasn't really working out for me, but it happens. Got a couple nice stitches there. Yeah, I ended up with four, so... I look pretty good right now. What doesn't look good is the Royals' record. They won two of 11 games in November. Same thing in December. The young Royals turned some heads to start this season with their lunch bucket work ethic. But has Coach Habscheid's philosophy now fallen on deaf ears? Oh, uh, it's up to each guy to buy in, and uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's a team issue, and we have to fix it as a team. Maybe some of us are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and uh, getting a little too ahead of our ahead of ourselves. Light at the end of the tunnel. What, what do you mean? A lot of you are looking ahead to what? Um, maybe future plans. I mean, uh, being traded. Uh, that, I mean, there's talk around the room, but uh, I think uh, we're not too worried about that. Uh, whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen. With Tuesday's trade deadline looming, Coach Habscheid admits his phone has been ringing with potential suitors for the team's leading scorer, Kevin Sunder. And after signing with the Buffalo Sabres in December, it's highly unlikely Sunder will return to the WHL next season, making him the coach's biggest bargaining chip. Buying or selling at the trade deadline, Coach? Well, we're just gonna we're gonna do what's best for the organization what, today, and more importantly for tomorrow. You know, we're not here to limp around. We're here to win championships, and you know, we're just not gonna make a trade. To make a trade. To, if you're gonna make a bad trade, you're better off to not to make any trades. So that's the way we're looking at it. Well, this is another blow to the Victoria Royals blue line. The team announced this afternoon that 19-year-old Jesse Pauls is retiring from hockey. Well, no reason for retiring was given, but it's well known that Pauls suffered a broken tibia. So that's the largest leg bone below the knee. November 20th, November 2010 with Chilliwack. And he was sidelined for the remainder of the season. Aggressive rehabbing and desire to play had Jesse returned to the ice for Royals training camp. But unfortunately, it appears as though the injury won out in the end.